Hi everybody, Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you using a couple new products from the latest Kisses release. Starting with the new printmaking postage stamp set along with the coordinating dies. I'm gonna do something a little bit out of the box. Uh, I wanted to stretch, see how I could stretch this printmaking postage. So instead of using all the stamps in the stamp set to color in the postage stamp images. I'm going to emboss the outline postage stamps in white on several little panels of solid color cardstock. So first I'm using some guava cardstock, which is by Lawn Fawn. Uh, first I prep it with my magic powder bag and then I stamped it with Versamark ink. I'm pouring on some Simon's stamp white embossing powder and then I'll set that aside and just move along. I think I do five different little panels. This one here is orange peel cardstock by Simon's Stamp. Again, prep it with that magic powder bag, ink it up with Versamark ink, and pour on that Simon's Stamp white embossing powder. It kind of, like when you work in batches like this, it actually goes pretty quick. So uh, I did a yellow panel, which is banana cardstock, and then this green is actually kiwi cardstock by Hero Arts. And then lastly, we have sea glass. I'll have all the card stocks and all the products that I use listed in the description box if you're watching it on YouTube. So I have all my panels prepped and ready to emboss with the heat gun. And lately I've been using this glass mat by Simon's the Stamp. It's really great for heat embossing because I know if you if you heat emboss on top of that rubber grid mat it will warp it. But you can do really hot heat on this glass mat. Comes in handy and I've been using it more and more lately. I find myself, I like when I do something messy, I like to use the grid, the glass mat, do heat, like the glass mat. Now to do something a little, just a little bit of zhuzh, just to give a little bit of, uh, I don't know, interest to these flat embossed images, I took a Copic marker. I tried to kind of match or slightly darker than the cardstock that I chose. So uh, it's a little hard to see my marker cap, but again, I'll have it all listed. I believe this is RV14. And I'm not doing any blending, no gradient, just a solid fill on little parts of the postage stamps. Just a little dab to give it a little bit of contrast, a little bit of interest, a little bit of variation. Okay, so for this orange peel cardstock, looks like I have YR04. Then for the yellow, I've got Y15 which looks really great with the sun rays. And then moving on to this Kiwi cardstock, I have YG, I can't read it. Ah, it's too far away. Okay, but again, I'll have it all listed. Um, okay, let's talk about, uh, what can we talk about? Hey, people ask me, Laura, you haven't done an update on Hank, Hank the Tank in a while, and I have it, you know, I guess I haven't been talking about him, but he is my shadow. Let me tell you, he follows me around all day. Now I'm gonna die cut each one of these postage stamps using the coordinating die. It's one die that cuts out all six, is it six? All six of those postage stamps in one shebang. Gotta love that. Okay, so here we are working in batches. And yes, let's talk about Hank. Um, you know, Hank loves our neighbor dog. If if it's morning and they happen to see each other in the morning, they do a couple couple laps around the two houses and then he hops in the car and we take Emma to school. We have our routine and then I take him for a walk and uh, yeah, and then he follows me around the rest of the day. We have a good time. I'm really, I don't know why I didn't get a dog sooner because he's just one of the best things I've ever done. Okay, now I have a panel of peacock cardstock and I am gonna try to make a little layout here. It's like I'm playing Jenga or what's that called? Tetris, where you try to fit all these in, but like also vary the colors and the shapes and sizes. And that's what I'm trying to do here. And we'll see if it works. Now I could, I could fiddle and futz with something like this for hours. I don't know if you're like that, but just fiddle and futz till the day is long. But once you get it how you want to get it, this is when you pull out the big dogs, the old press and seal. Shout out to Ken McGuire. He's the one who invented it. And then you just, you do not sneeze but you cover that puppy with press and seal and now you've got your your layout locked in. You can flip it over oh so delicately and then bring on the dimension because dimension is life. Okay, so I think that's the first time I've sang that 
in 2023. You heard it first. I don't know if I'm going to be singing it as much because I just feel like I need something new. I, I need a new jingle in my life. Um, I need something new, something fresh. I also need somebody to come over here and organize my craft station. I, I need it bad. Okay, so peel off that and look at that. I forgot to peel off the backing on that one particular postage stamp. No problem. Just no one will ever know. There you go. Lock it in. Bada boom, bada bing. Now, I kind of like this look. It's a lot of color. You get all those postage images. Now, all those extra ones, don't you worry. I'm going to tuck those in the back of my printmaking postage package. Save them for a rainy day. I'll use them. Okay, I'm gonna put a little tape runner on the back of this peacock panel and slap it down on a white card base. I bought myself another package of Nina Solar White, 110 pound for my card bases. Moving on to the sentiment, one that I have used time and time again and it just came out is the CZ Love Ya Word Die. I don't know why, but I just keep grabbing it. I keep grabbing it over and over, and I love to do it with vellum and matte gold. Do a couple more out of white, stack them up, and you got yourself a nice dimensional. And I just, I like love ya better than love you. It seems a little more casual, maybe witty, and not so formal. I'm kind of hip. I don't know. I'm running out of um, adjectives, but I just love Kathy Zilski. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just like everything she makes and I just like her and I really like her craft room. I wish I could have one like the way she's getting so organized and she's got all the warm fuzzy lighting and the candles. It just looks like such a happy spot. You know what I mean? And I need one of those. I need a happy spot to do my crafting. Okay. So I popped up the love ya. I added a few of these new sequins, the disco heart. They're kind of a white iridescent and this card is finished. What do you think? I'm sending you some colorful printmaking postage. Love ya vibes today. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Hi there. I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.